So what I'm going to do is play uh, four bars of bass and then I'm going to show you how we can use quantization to make this bass a little better. So let's hit the record and I'll just turn Kyle down a bit, make sure the bass is up and let's record a little bass line. Amazing, I know, it's going to be a great song. So, what I've done here and why I've done it. So let's go over to our track view. And we can see we have our drums and we have our bass on this particular track. And when we play, there's our performance. Now, in GarageBand here, if we wanted to edit this, so if we weren't happy with that performance, we could manually go in and edit these notes. If I tap on there and I hit edit, then we're displayed with our performance here. And you'll be able to see, if I zoom in by pinching and zooming on these notes, we'll be able to see how well I played. And I didn't do too badly here. You can see there's the start, there's the first beat. So I played it just after the start. Uh, here's the second beat, I was a little bit late on that one. Third beat, fourth beat, I was a little bit late again, and so on and so forth. So all of these notes, don't line up directly on the grid, and especially as we get to the faster notes, notes down here, they're definitely not lining up very well at all. So, to fix this, what we could do is come into each note and fix it manually. So I could grab this note here, tap on it, and move it carefully onto the grid to line it up. I could do the same with each note as I go along, fix the ending, line them up manually like this. Now that's obviously going to take a long time and if you've got a long performance you don't want to sit, be sitting there doing all of that. So quantization gives us a better way of fixing our performance. So here's our four bars again and you'll notice uh, that I've played the first three bars are quarter notes, eighth notes, then sixteenth notes and the last bar is a little bit of a swing groove which will make sense in a moment. So if I select the track here and I hit on the options and come down to quantization. At the moment there is no quantization on here. So what that means is that it's not doing any processing on this at all. What I'm going to do though is let's add quarter note quantization. What this will do is it will line up the note to the nearest quarter note. So in a 4-4 four, four, um, rhythm such as this one, there's four quarter notes per bar and in that first bar for instance I've played four quarter notes. So let's see what putting this to quarter note quantization is going to do for us. So we select it, we go back and out of there. Now let's play back and see what this sounds like now. Okay, so our first bar sounds really good. Lined up right on the grid. Our four quarter notes are lined up perfectly and if we want to check on that, we go back into our editor, if we press the right button, and to edit, and come over here, and we can see that GarageBand has lined up the start of each of those notes to line up right on. Now it won't line up the end of the note necessarily, so you do need to be careful with that if you've got overlapping notes, but you're at least going to hit those notes at the right point. So if we now go and have a look at what's happened here, once we get to these eighth notes, well, it's putting them to the nearest quarter note, which is not really gonna help us because if we've got eight notes and there's only four spots it's gonna put them, it's clearly not going to be a good outcome. So, what can we do then? So if we've got a groove here that has eighth notes in it, makes sense, we're gonna quantize it down to the eighth note. Let's hit eighth note, let's come back, and now, when we play our track, oh, okay. So we've now got really good uh, on the beat for our quarter notes, our eighth notes. As soon as we hit our sixteenth notes, though, we have a pretty serious problem there. And again, we've had the same thing happen here. If we go in and edit, we can see that it's only going to have those eight beats that it can line up to. So. These 16th notes are not going to work for us. They're going to line up to the nearest 8th note. So, back again we go. 
and you can see where this is going. Let's select 16th note and go back. And there we have it. So now, if we go back, let's see how this sounds. So pretty good. Pretty good. Our first three bars sounding really good. Um, now, you've probably already noticed here that under quantization, we can go down to a 32nd and even a 64th note. Now, the way quantization works is the higher the number here, so the 64th note, obviously the more spots, so there's going to be 64 separate locations in each bar that it's going to be able to place one of your notes. So if you want a little bit of quantization, you can use the 64th and 32nd notes, and that's going to just nudge it slightly. So if you're way off on a note, it may not actually not nudge it back to the correct note, but it means that if you're playing some faster patterns, it's going to work better for you than using an eighth or a quarter note as we saw before. There's a couple more things in here that uh, we'll talk about. So the first one is triplet. And this is probably a little bit outside of uh, the, the topic here, a bit too advanced for what we're talking about today. But a triplet basically means that there are three notes within four beats. And if you've got that sort of pattern, so where it goes one, two, three, four, but it goes one, two, three, hard to say, I know, I should play an example. But um, if you're using triplets, you'll know about it and it won't sound right when you use the straight. The other one though that's interesting is swing. So when we tap on swing, we've got the same eighth notes and 16th notes options here, but we've got the ability to swing it. And we've got swing light and swing heavy. And to show what this sounds like, first I'm gonna select the eighth note swing heavy. And we'll go back to the start and let's play this. Okay, so. You heard that the first part there, the quarter notes, didn't really do much too. Our eighth notes then, it started to actually swing those. So instead of going ba da da da, it went ba 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 ba, and that will help you. If you've got a, a song that has a swing rhythm, then you can enable swing in your quantization. You can still quantize, but you won't get that very static, exact same length. It'll it'll swing the rhythm instead of being really straight. Um, and as you heard there, we needed to swing this. We'll go to the right setting. We need to swing this quantization at a 16th note to help with here and then play it again. Interesting result, right? So <laughs> because there's quite a lot going on in this, it didn't quite work. But what you would notice is that it didn't swing the first two, so the quarter notes and the eighth notes. Once I hit the 16th notes, it did bring in that swing. Uh, and you could hear that there. So it's swinging on the 16th notes as opposed to the eighth, eighths and the quarter notes. 